Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will discuss table calculation in Tableau and their types and use case of table calculation. So before starting this video, if you have not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for upcoming and interesting video. So without any further delay, let's get started. So what is table calculation? So table calculation are a subset of calculated fields in the tableau that perform transformation on the values that are present on your worksheet what happen in calculated field so whenever we create a calculated field in the tableau it creates a new data field in the data source but tableau but table calculation doesn't create a new field in data source types of table calculation there are various type of table calculations like running total difference percentage difference percent of total rank percentile moving average yted total yted growth compound growth rate year over year growth okay let's discuss one by one running total running total is basically adds total across the table it is also called cumulative sum okay let's take an example suppose you have data of five years so if you want to calculate running total how running total works is it will add the sum of year 1 to year 2 then it will add sum of year 1 and 2 to year 3 and so on difference so difference is used to calculate the difference from the previous year column okay percentage difference percentage difference is same as difference here just we calculate the percentage difference from the previous year column okay percentage of total percentage of total calculate the percentage for all the values that are present in your table structure okay rank rank is used to assign an integer number across the values okay it starts from 1 to n values percentile percentile is used to calculate statistical percentile of the values across the table moving average moving average is used to calculate the average based on the data present in your view ytd total ytd is year to date total okay it is used to calculate the running total from the beginning of the year to the current date okay ytd growth ytd is year to date growth it is used to calculate the percentage change from the same time period in the previous year and then calculate a running running total over a year okay compound growth compound growth compound growth calculate the current value as a percentage from the first value year of year growth year of year growth used to calculate a percentage from the current value compared to the same period in the previous year okay so let's see how we can use table calculation in tableau to use table calculation let's drag some other fields so i'm using subcategory with sales make it to bar chart rotate the bars okay so to use table calculation right click on the field go to with table calculation and first one is running total okay running total so what running total do is it will add the sales of accessories to application then sum of accessories and application to art and then sum of these three to binders and so on so total running sum of the sales is double two nine seven two zero one okay to make it more interactive just add subcategory to color okay and also you can mark the show label so that you can see the data on the top of the bar okay second one is difference to use the difference let's drag order field and category and sales okay and let's duplicate 
it so that we can compare the data after applying difference okay so now i'm applying difference okay so as as we can see when we apply difference table calculation uh, we are not able to see the data of 2015 why because we are calculating differences based on 2015 data that's why we are not able to see the data okay so this is applied table across as you can see when you hover on the data as you can see difference in sales from the previous along table across okay let's compare the data so in 2016 we have 175 18 sales for furniture and in 2015 we have 157 193 sales okay and the difference is 13k so the sales has increased for furniture in 2016 let's compare for office supplies so we have 137k and 151 151k in 2015 so sales are decreased around 14k in office supplies and same in technology and if we compare the data for 2017 so here we have 190k sales in 2017 and 170k sales in 2016 so around 28k sales has increased for furniture okay and same same for office supplies same for technology and same for in 2016 as well okay so you can compare this is how you can compare how uh, how the sales has increased by year uh, and category okay the third one is percentage difference so basically difference and percentage if difference both are same in percentage we are getting the data in the numbers and here we are getting the percentage difference okay let's create the same scenario or let's just duplicate it and make it to percentage difference we have created one more just delete it okay and just go to here go to quick table calculation and apply percentage difference so as you can see here we have the data in numbers and here we have data in percentage so after applying percentage difference we can see sales difference for furniture in 2015 and 16 is 8% okay and in office supply is minus 9.58% and in technology for minus 7.13% okay this is how you can compare percentage difference and the next one is percentage of total okay for this let's drag order date and we need month we don't need quarter and we need sales okay let's duplicate is and apply percent of total okay so after applying percentage of total we can see which month is contributing how much percentage in the sales okay as we can see in 2015 in january we have 15% of sales and in feb we have 7.56% in march we have 27% and so on and same for 2016 17 and 18 okay this is how you can compare uh, the data or you can find out which month is giving which percentage of sales okay in each year let's move to next one that is rank so for rank is uh, i am using sub category with sales okay 
let's sort the data first okay in ascending order so what rank do is it will assign a numeric value based on the data from ascending to descending order because we have sorted data in ascending order okay let's go to quick table calculation and applies rank okay okay so we have less sales for uh, fastener so we have 17th 17th rank for it and for label we have 16th rank because it has second lowest sales and we have maximum sales for fonts because uh, and the rank is one because we have maximum sales okay so this is how you can use rank next one is percentile okay percentile so for this also let's track subcategory and sales and let's solve the data okay so when you change it to percentile it will assign the percent percentage to 100 for the, to the fonts because this has the maximum sales and faster has the lowest sales so that's why we are assigning these values okay so this has the second highest sales so it has 93.8 and this is basically this is behaving behaving like a running percentage sum okay so let's move to our next one that is moving average moving average so moving average calculate the average based on the current values present okay let's drag order date and i need quarter as well and let's check the sales okay and let's make it to moving average so you can see so it, it now it's showing the moving average for each quarter in 2015 16 17 and 18 okay next one is ytd for this also we need order date quarter and let's drag sales okay and now make it to ytd total okay ytd total so ytd is year to date so what it's doing is it is calculating uh, year to day from the beginning of the year to the to the uh, last date that is present in a data set okay so this is let's calculate a table across so you can see running sum for here this this is basically ytd calculate the running sum so now it's adding uh, all these value and giving us running sum okay this is how you can you can calculate ytd total okay next one is let's see what is next one next one is compound rate compound growth rate okay compound growth rate let's drag order now use month okay and now let's drag profit and apply to compound growth rate and it is applied table across okay so you can see why we have zero for this because we are calculating calculating profit along with table across okay so for this we don't have any profit and for this we have compound difference in profit from uh, 226 percent and here the difference is increased to 1851 percent okay let's see their data clear table calculation 
so you can see for this march in 2015 we have 499 uh, rupees profit and here we have 9732 rupees profit in march so that's why the percentage is changed to not down we need to calculate across okay that's why the percentage is high okay this is how you can calculate compound growth next one is year over year growth y o y growth okay let's drag order date and now drag subcategory and drag sales okay just go to there and click on year over year growth so here you can see how how your sales are growing in 2016 so if we compare the data for the 2015 so the sales has increased 62 percent for accessories and 51 percent for application three percent for art and binders and if, if we compare the data for 2016 and 17 so only three percent three point four percent sales has increased for accessories and 12 percent 12.1 percent for application and if we check for the bookcases uh, the sales has decreased to 31.8 percent and if we compare the sales for machines so uh, 101.4 percent sales has increased and same we can compare data for 2018 okay so this is how you can measure or analyze your year over year growth okay and the last one is ytd growth okay ytd growth let's drag order date quarter and month and drag their sales and apply ytd growth okay so basically what ytd growth gives us it gives a difference in running some of the sales okay previous year so if we compare the data of uh, 2015 to 16 so there is a difference of 27 percent okay and in january if we compare the data of quarter one there, there is a difference in 60 percent okay and same as well if we compare the data of 2018 with 2017 so there is 137.1 percent change in the sales okay this is how you can compare your data by using table calculation so these are the basics examples of the table calculations you can try by your own to make to make it more meaningful so that's it for this video now we have completed basics of the tableau in the next video we will create a basic tableau dashboard by using all the concepts that we discussed in our crash course series so thank you so much guys if you like the video please do like share and subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming videos